and all is not well with Indian auto sales as well and this development has huge implications for Indian economy already reeling under slowdown. I mean it's the growth, slowdown automobile sales, slow automobile sales in fact they have declined for 10th consecutive month last month. This is worst slump in almost two decades. It's clear that trouble in India's Motown is showing no signs of letting up. Let's take a look at data and according to data from Society of Indian Automobile Manufacturers, Siam, sales of passenger vehicles has come down by 31.6% year on year last month. Slowdown is being felt in other segments as well. And sales of two-wheelers have declined by over 20% while sales of commercial vehicles fell by nearly 40%. And since last Diwali, vehicle sales have declined by nearly 25% across all the segments. So why is this a major source of worry? Because auto sector contributes 7% to India's GDP and is a major job generator as well. Several firms have struggled due to slowdown in auto sector and that's not a good news. But across sectors, several firms like Suzuki and M&M, Mahindra and Mahindra have even laid off workers to cope with this slowdown. So what does the industry want and what has the government done so far? Sime has asked government to cut GST rates on automobiles, which can happen on 20th of this month. And with the festival season coming up, this could lead to a price reduction and revive demand in the sector. Right now, automobiles fall under 28% GST slap. Industry wants GST rate to be cut to 18%. And the government has not clarified on GST rate cut so far. But it has brought in several other measures to stop rotten auto sector. On 23rd of August, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman announced several measures to boost sales. Government postponed revision of one-time registration fee, urged government departments to buy new vehicles and addressed shortage of cash in the sector. The Road Transport Minister Nitin Gadkari has also confirmed and he is planning to reduce taxes on hybrid vehicles. The government has not indicated any fiscal support or a tax cut so far. So what next for the sector? Will the announced schemes revive auto sector? So while reducing GST rates, will it lead to improvement in sales? It may not help sector in the long run. In fact, experts say such a decision would only act as a bandage to a deep wound. India's auto industry has several structural problems. A World Bank report shows labor productivity in India in sector is almost one-third that of China. This makes India's auto sector unattractive in the global market. India is sixth largest manufacturer of automobiles in the world, but the share of exports stand at a paltry 1%. And reduction of import tariffs could increase the efficiency of the sector. That is a permanent solution to long-standing problem in the sector. And knee-jerk reactions will only help escape the problem for now and hurt India's ambitions to become a global manufacturing hub. Listen to what automakers in India think about the slowdown. Uh, currently, as you all know, the auto industry, of course, is going through a very, very difficult phase. Uh, the entire industry is dropping. And uh, if you look at the uh, situation till August, each month is worse than the previous month. So if you look at the commercial vehicles, the month of August, the drop ha has been extremely high. Uh, if you look at the heavy duty trucks, the industry has dropped by more than 60 percent. And uh, 5 to 15 ton, which was not dropping that much uh, before this, before August, that also has dropped by 40 percent. See, I'll uh, talk a bit of uh, uh, theoretical economy. See, as far as I could see so far, if you do an analysis, the automobile market demand is directly correlated to the GDP growth. Now for India, possibly the downturn that we see in the GDP growth is short term. So it is I think only a matter of time, like mostly your GDP or this one is economy cyclic in its, uh, in its growth. So it, is, it shouldn't take very long for the GDP to go back on its high growth track.